Hey everyone, holy crap guys, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, and no I don't mean a mini, I don't mean a partner showcase, I mean a real, full blown, 50 minute Direct, we're not even talking about the typical 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 usually for something like E3, 50 minutes of full Nintendo Direct goodness, the first full Nintendo Direct since September of 2019. Holy crap, I'm trying a new, auto, uh, a new camera mode on my camera, by the way. I'm sorry if it autofocuses weird. I'm hoping that it's actually better than before. But before I get into the actual official report from Nintendo, yes, this is real. This is not a rumor. This is not a leak. It's happening tomorrow. Uh, I'm giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. Uh, so to enter, head down to the description or to the pinned comment. Let's get into it. Nintendo Direct, stop BSing around, Nate. Let's go. Here it is, a tweet from Nintendo of America. It says, tune in. At 2.17, that's tomorrow, at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 4 p.m. Uh, my time, I'm central. A Nintendo Direct live stream featuring roughly 50 minutes of information focused on available games like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I saw that and I was like, oh no, it's a Smash Ultimate. It's a Smash Ultimate Direct. We don't want it. Like, I love Smash, but the, not just Smash, please. It says, and games coming to Nintendo Switch in the first half of 2021. So this is a full-blown Direct. This is not a uh, mini. This is not a, a partner showcase. This is Nintendo talking about games coming in the first half of 2021. Now, you might wonder, what games could we expect them to actually show off? Well, we're going to probably see Monster Hunter Rise. We're probably going to see Bravely Default 2. We're probably going to see the new Pokemon Snap. But here's the thing. I'm excited about all those games and getting new, fresh looks at them, right? I, I really am. Like, it makes a lot of sense for us to get fresh looks. They're probably going to end up unveiling a new character for the Smash roster. Okay, that's fine. That's exciting. Get speculating away on who and what that character could be. <clears throat> Maybe Crash Bandicoot. I'm just throwing out there that... It's cool that we're going to see this. And we're going to probably see some known third-party games. Like, we now know Crash Bandicoot, the new game, is coming over to Switch. We'll probably see that. Uh, but what don't we know? Because they say they're just talking about the first half of 2021. So what are we getting exactly after April? Because there's still May and June to consider if we're talking about the first half of 2021. And we all know in the past anyways, with full Nintendo Directs, that they would say, oh, it's about the first half or the second half of the year or whatever, or it's about the holiday period. But there would always be a couple teases for games coming later. So this is where you can start to think, maybe we see Breath of the Wild 2. This is where you start to think, maybe we're seeing a new Odyssey game, a new Mario Kart, a new some. I know, hype is going to be to the extreme. As, I got to be honest, it should be. Let's, let's be clear here. We have not had a full Nintendo Direct in one year and four months. That's almost a year and a half. This is the last time we had something we could just literally just call it a Nintendo Direct. Direct. No partner showcase attached, no mini, no Smash Direct or Pokemon Direct. A literal full blown Nintendo Direct. Almost an hour long Nintendo Direct at that. Let's just say our hype levels deserve to be at the max. I'm not even going to say temper your expectations. Whatever you want to see or want to expect from this Direct, expect it. Because Nintendo. Well, I don't ever want to feel like a company owes us something. When it comes to the Nintendo Direct branding, and you're talking about an, a nearly hour-long Direct, they do owe us something pretty epic. If It's been this long since a regular Direct. It feels like they owe us to just blow our freaking minds. With no E3 last year, uh, really just the 35th anniversary celebration, and then the surprise drop of Age of Calamity for the second half of the year. I feel like Nintendo basically owes us a massive direct with a ton of announcements because if you think about it of the nintendo like controlled and created games i mean there really isn't that much after bowser's fury that we know is coming in 2021 there really isn't uh i, I keep trying to rack my brain and pretty much all the games we're talking about monster to rise bravely default 2 uh and like new pokemon snap those aren't actually made by nintendo so we don't really know what Nintendo has going on behind the scenes. Besides Metroid Prime 4, Bayonetta 3, and Breath of the Wild 2. And who knows, maybe they shock the world and we see all three of those games in this Direct. Wouldn't that be insane if those are all actually 2021 games? You know, and 
they keep saying that, you know, the Bayonetta 3 development is going well, so maybe we should expect to see that. But clearly, we're going to see some stuff about the new Pokemon Snap. I think that's a given. I think that game already looks great. I'm not sure they really need to do anything else to sell that game. But again, you know, not to me because I played the original. I guess for a new audience, maybe they need to be uh, compelled a bit more to give that game a try. Monster Hunter Rise already had a public demo. So I find it interesting that, you know, they need to show more of that game, but chances are they're going to at least mention it because it's a major game coming to Switch. It's like the next big one besides Bravely Default 2, which I also think they're going to show more of that as well. Bravely Default 2 has already had a lot of previews and stuff going out. That's going to be a huge game. Um, I, I can't wait. I, I think it's going to sell at least as well as Octopath Traveler did. It's made by the same team. Obviously, it has a following over from 3DS as well. So I think Bravely Default 2 is probably going to be a million plus seller as well. But I, I want to know what Nintendo's cooking. What, what, what have they been waiting a year and four months to tell us? You know, the last time we had anything really honestly teased that wasn't like a wii u port uh that that really mattered was age of calamity and at, when they announced age of calamity aj anuma had to be like hey look i know you guys want to hear about the next you know the next breath of the wild the, the the sequel but like we need a little more time in the oven to cook i'm sorry maybe i'm just hyping myself up for nothing but if they show Breath of the Wild 2 tomorrow, I might literally faint on stream. Because you know I'm live stream reacting to this. It's been a year and four months in the making. We've been waiting a year and four months for this Nintendo Direct. So, whew, ooh, you bet. You bet I'd be uh, wetting my jimmies and uh, fainting if they, if they even show even a teaser, even a 30-second teaser. And that's all they show us. They don't even give us a date. I'm probably still going to be super hyped but I, I honestly all bets are off we literally have no idea what nintendo's been working on there have been all these leaks and rumors about different things but none of it has really unveiled what games nintendo is making we've had leaks about breath of the wild 2 already know what's been happening leaks about metroid Prime 4 already know that's happening leaks about bayonetta 3 already know it's happening where are the leaks about games we don't know about it's almost as if those leaks are probably all fake because we know about those games and we're not actually having real leaks happen right now about anything else. Heck, I doubt this happens, but they could show off the next Pokemon games. You know, we know they're coming. I, we figure they're going to be announced for the 25th anniversary. But hey, look, this is happening tomorrow. This is a real thing. We, we don't have to pretend anymore. I talked about how, oh, just yesterday that maybe they won't, they'll do a Zelda Direct for the 35th. And I truly believe, by the way, that this doesn't mean we're not going to get a Zelda Direct for the 35th anniversary. I truly think that's still going to be a thing that happens probably next month. In fact, they might even announce it in this Direct and be like, Hey, look, you know, we're not done with the Zelda goodness. It's the 35th anniversary of Zelda coming up. And we're going to be doing a 35th anniversary Zelda Direct on this date at this time. They might even announce that in this Direct. Because they've done stuff like that in the past where they say, Hey, look, yeah, th this isn't all we're going to talk about with Zelda. Tune in at a later date for that. So, again... I, I think that is something that could be announced, but I, think about all the possibilities. You know, a Mario Odyssey 2, the original Mario Odyssey, absolutely fantastic, 20 million seller. Why not get another Mario Odyssey out the gate? It's not going to sell 20 mil. The, the, the sequels never do, but could it sell, sell 10? Sure. What about Mario Kart 9, right? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is fantastic, but it's still technically a Wii U game. You know, unless you want to say that Mario Kart 9 is really Mario Kart live home circuit which by the way is also really really good but not necessarily a mass market seller like a traditional mario kart would be i i have no idea you know we had luigi's mansion not too long ago it feels a little odd to maybe get another luigi's mansion now uh maybe we get some new ips maybe we get the next xenoblade chronicles 3 or something like that maybe we are getting another kirby game i mean we get kirby games seemingly every year so i mean would that be too big of a shock i don't know all bets are off Maybe F-Zero is coming back. Maybe we're getting a Star Tropic sequel. Whatever you hope, expect, and want to happen, now's the time to have those feelings come to the surface. Because, folks, this is real. I got to show you one more time. I, I, I literally took a double take when I saw this on Twitter because I did not believe this was real. I thought this came from the fake Nintendo America account because there is a fake Nintendo of America account. This is not from the fake account. This is real. In fact, even click on the link. Click on the link just to prove to you this is real. This is Nintendo's official website. This is their official YouTube channel, Nintendo Direct. Hold on. We need to make sure it's not fake again. Let's make sure. Live in 31 hours, Nintendo with 7.56 million. It's real. 
It's happening. We're getting a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. You know we'll be live stream reacting to it. Whew! Maybe speculating. Gotta get a speculation video out. Gotta get a hype video out. Uh, probably tomorrow morning, if not tonight, about what to expect. A discussion video. Something needs to happen because... Yes! <laughs> oh, man. I was just saying yesterday, on uh, or two days ago on Valentine's Day, I put up a meme. I'll show you guys this, actually, on Twitter here. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I'll put up, I, I put up a meme here. Um, I put up a meme where... Let's see. Where I, I was I was just making fun of the fact that we you know uh, we haven't had a director forever, and you know it's like it's like my one love. Um, and and when you look at the meme, I just put this up uh, on Sunday. Hold on, hold on. We got a long Twitter thread right here, right here. I mean, I have a fiance, but nothing is quite like my true love. It's like I had some foreshadowing. Look at this. Your true love is dead. Your true love is dead. I love this. How do you have kids if you're not married? It's, it's as, as if people don't think you can have children without being married. Anyways, um, I mean, I have a fiance. Nothing like my true love. <laughs> and then we get it. It's out of direct. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm going to let you guys go. I'll catch you in the next video.